Hi, and welcome to my first proper video. Today I want to talk about what I learned so far about pre-production. Pre-production, just like design, implementation, and testing, is one of the major milestones that people take when making a game. So, what is pre-production? Well, it's a phase where the concept is created, usually through a proposal document. The size of the proposal document should be based on the complexity of the game, and for my instance, my game is relatively small, therefore I think ours should take about maximum a month. Once you have finished creating the proposal document, it's time to show it to your teammates, if you have one. Even if you're doing this alone, you should totally create one regardless. Because one, in the future you might work with multidisciplinary team and having this document can help you translate your vision to others. And two, you should also do it for your own sake. Many developers, myself included, have a tendency to add more functionalities midway and it can be very damaging as many errors can occur. This is called technical depth. I've put a link down below from Extra Credits who talks about technical depth in detail. But through this proposal document or any documentation that you've made, it should help you with your vision keeping. So whatever you are adding, let's say a new feature, you will have a clear view if this extra feature is worth implementing or even worth it at all. Now, coming back to the requirements for the proposal, I want to put my emphasis on how you should be flexible as many games are different and therefore the structure that I showed you guys above is relative too. I will now show you my game proposal document. I made this through the help of Game Dev Underground template as it was very clear and straightforward. When I made this, I have also consulted with the rest of the team, Giacomo and Rebecca, and they told me their process in creating a mood board and the procedures they have to go through before coming up with their first sketch. This gave me further insights in terms of how art assets are made and what procedures they need to take. So in my proposal, I have game identity, which is for vision keeping, uh, design pillars, which I think is giving the mood of the game, genre, story and mechanic summary, Features, so anything that is worth mentioning, especially the unique features you want to put emphasis on. The interface, how the character moves and interacts with the world. The art style, here I try my best to explain my friends how I visualize the game and with some reference I have shown below. Music and sounds are very important to me because this game's story is about a DJ fixing his music. And finally, we have the development roadmap or launch criteria, where I mention the platform, when we will release it, the target audience, and the resolution and display. Once that's all set, you should also come up with milestones, which are the major steps that you will need to take until you launch your game. I won't go into too much detail, because I fear that we're not staying within the scope of our video, so I will just say shortly what their names are. So first you make the first playable prototype, then you have the alpha, then you have the code freeze, then you have the beta, or beta, beta, beta? I don't know. Then you have code release, and then finally you get the gold master, which is basically a game that you can launch it to the any publishing website. I don't, I don't know. You, you know, you get me. It's the final product. You can totally look this up online. I will try to provide some of the links below, although I'm not really sure which one are the most reliable because everybody does it differently. But I do hope that what I said here helps. Okay, enough documentation. I think that was a lot to take in, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm still learning on how to explain and teach properly, but this is just how I understood it, and I may be very wrong, but if you get it, until what I said now, well done. After I finished my proposal, or the first sketch of my proposal, I have decided to go on Unity and try to create my first prototype. I first made a list of all the functionalities that I want to put in that prototype, and then I start just drawing some really stupid art because I can't art. Here is a small boy. And then that's a, that's a DJ set I tried. I don't know why I put wings, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but basically what you can see here is that the character can move and uh, they're wielding a weapon and the weapon is following the mouse. When clicking the weapon, you can shoot a projectile and it also causes a particle effect. So far so good, but of course there are many things that I, that is wrong and I don't like how it looks. I dislike the closed camera as it's it gives that claustrophobic feeling I think. 
and I don't know how much I want to let the player see in terms of enemies. Some some games that are top-down shooter have camera zooms are very far further away so you can see as much as possible or the camera doesn't even move you see the entire map whereas others it follows you the player and uh, I think I still have to discuss that with my teammates and just hopefully to make everybody happy and come up with a good solution and that's about it for this week I'm still testing and figuring out how to make a proper video and it might take some time until I become consistent and clean so I apologize for that. Let me know if this video helped you in any way. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free and comment down below or join my Discord channel. I think next week I will try to copy other devs and make a more structured weekly devlog. You know, like the ones with Monday I did this, Tuesday I did that and etc. And maybe that way I won't be rambling as much because this video was more like, hey, look, I learned these. I think these are pretty cool but it might be too much. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate this. And uh, thank you also for just commenting. And it's, it's really nice to talk with other people who are also interested in the same things. And I hope you all have a great week ahead of you. And thanks again. Cheers.